All right, I have to start this video off with a disclaimer. Uh, by no means is this like educational. Uh, I'm not teaching you how to go out and pack your own reserve. Uh, definitely don't do that based off of uh, the video that you're about to watch. Hopefully you're about to watch it. Uh, yeah, also, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a ton of crap from uh, a lot of different people on what you're about to see. So before you, you know, start typing away in the comments, you know, I already know what you're gonna say. You're gonna die. You sealed your own fate. How could you be so ignorant as to pack your own reserve and teach yourself how? This is what's wrong with the paramotor community is people like you. You give us a bad name. You make us look bad. I hope you have to throw that thing and there's a giant hole in the middle. I got dark. So before going into this uh, project, I reached out to a lot of professionals and uh, I consulted quite a few people uh, to try and get one, their opinion, and two, uh, maybe a little bit of guidance before I fully dove into committing to this project. I received a lot of positive feedback and uh, more positive feedback saying, yeah, go for it. It's not as daunting of a task as you may think it is. Uh, more of that feedback than the negative feedback saying, you know, you're an idiot, don't do this. So packing your reserve is actually, you know, it's not, it's not hard, right? Um, but it is difficult. And it's something that if you're not a meticulous person, then yeah, you might not want to do it uh, yourself. You might want to leave it up to the professionals. Uh, but in all reality, the reserve and the method that it's packed is really designed to be simple. And the more simple it's folded, the easier the reserve's gonna open up uh, after you toss it. Ozone square V2 120. So it's something should be done every like six months, they say. Um, and repacking one of these things is something I really wanna know how to do. I'm gonna unpack it now and let it hang out. Uh, overnight and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna pack it up practice packing it and uh, go out to the field we're gonna have like five mile an hour winds and I'm gonna throw it see how nicely it unpacks obviously I'm not gonna be flying when I do it uh, but I'm just gonna give it a gentle toss or maybe a hard toss out of the wind and uh, see how it unpacks itself and maybe do that a couple times before I put it back on the motor if I don't like my results I'll just uh, box it up send it out to the professionals uh, for repack so uh, fortunately, Ozone has some pretty awesome instructions on how to repack this specific uh, reserve. And it's just in the uh, operator's manual that you get to download off their website. So that's super nice. Um, but yeah, let's get it uh, unpacked and check it out. this V2 and let's get closer look I'll show you is that the color code you can see the red there uh, pretty much everything on this side should be red blue on the left hand side you come down to this end again you get red blue helps you identify which side uh, you're supposed to fold things up on but this fabric is super lightweight if you've never touched a reserve parachute before this is like as thin as thin can be. I mean, you can see straight through it. So that's pretty cool. Feels really, really nice. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this old um, line from my first paraglider and I'm gonna loop it through the end loop on the reserve. I'm gonna hang it up from there in the other side of my basement uh, to let it hang out and get the wrinkles out. So that's where it's gonna sit overnight. I'll uh, get it up, show you how I hang it up. Alright guys, check 
check it out. So, all the way around the end are these loops. I just ran my, my string through there and we're just gonna hang it up just like that from my rafters. I got it all hung up. Excuse the terrible lighting in my basement. It is what it is. It's where it's hanging for now. Um, it's up there. She's just hanging out to get the wrinkles out and I'll take her down tomorrow and uh, pack her up. So that's all I got today. My kids are gonna come down here and think it's a ghost. Suckers. <laughs> freaking hard like getting to this point was really hard I can't tell you how many hours it took me to finally figure out how to fold this thing without letting it all explode now I'm doing the same folds over and over every time per the manual um, but man there's a technique there's a trick to getting this thing in the diaper to this point without letting all the folds undo themselves. So we are back here in my basement. Uh, it's been a few weeks since, maybe about two weeks since I first uh, repacked my reserve, uh, went out, threw it at the field, and then uh, repacked it again. So I've learned a ton uh, about packing reserves since I first or last did the repack. Um, so we're gonna throw the reserve here in my basement and see exactly how it unfolds uh, while it's laying on the ground. Um, and then we're going to repack it again and throw it a few more times uh, and just repack over and over. I'm waiting on some rubber bands. One thing I learned is you don't just use normal rubber bands. Uh, you want like a high silicon content uh, and that's for degradation issues. Uh, but yeah, let's get into uh, tossing this thing, see how it does and uh, pack it up a few more times. One other thing I wanted to mention, right? Um, I said I learned a lot, definitely learned a lot about uh, packing from the first time, folding it up. And one thing that is really handy is some nice uh, tools for folding up. And so I cut some wood dowels and those, these will be used to fold up um, the wing. And you'll probably see that, uh, what I mean by that. Also, I made this pegboard for uh, folding up the lines, put the rubber bands on so they're nice and neat and uh, organized. It's not the highest quality, most uh, precise build on a pegboard, but I don't think it needs to be. So. Uh, yep, let's get into it. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. pretty embarrassing I forgot to hit cord, record before I threw it um, but here we are just come out and didn't go all the way out I didn't throw it very hard uh, but we can see the diaper was still around the reserve by the time it hit the ground um, which is why I really want to get our leading edge of the 
of the rescue on the top instead of on the bottom so that you don't get the reserve caught down in the edge of the diaper and it comes out nicely and catches the wind. So it's pretty embarrassing, but let's get it uh, stretched back out and fold it up. All right guys, so I managed to fold up the reserve with the leading edge at the top. So all the lines and uh, the leading edge comes straight out of the top of the uh, diaper. So we're gonna toss it again, see how it deploys and uh, fold it back up. That was right off the rip, a way better throw and deployment. Let's look at uh, how it laid out. lines come out pretty straight and just look the leading edge is just right there laid out perfectly and we follow the reserve all the way to the end there's the diaper there is uh that's like a perfect deployment so definitely makes a huge difference having the leading edge on top of uh everything else inside the diaper clearly made a huge difference so we're gonna we're gonna pack it back up and put it in the reserve. I might throw it one more time just to uh, double check and make sure that I'm satisfied with it. when you throw your reserve you want it to just like explode open uh, and that's what this tries to do the entire time you're folding it's very difficult so we're gonna give it one last throw and uh pack it back up make it all good all right guys again super successful deployment everything's nice and straight and we have just nicely opened up the leading edge of the reserve and it's nice and straight as it comes out and there's a diaper bag at the very end. So I would say that's some pretty successful throws and I'm extremely happy with it. So we're gonna pack it back up one last time and then uh, put it on the motor. thumbs up whatever it is uh, that you want to do I again I appreciate it um, I will be taking my reserve uh, to a professional a 
along with myself uh, to do a hands-on uh, unpack, evaluation, and repack uh, as soon as I get the chance. Because again, there's that old saying, you don't know what you don't know, and it holds true um, nine times out of 10. Uh, so I always like to get as much education as possible. Uh, the learning is uh, one of my hobbies. So I, and I like to learn from people with experience. So um, I look forward to that. And again, if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See y'all later. So in my quest for knowledge for packing your reserve, I consulted a lot of paraglider pilots, and something that really uh, meant a lot to me was uh, one pilot said that nobody cares about how well your reserve is packed more than you. And those words stood out, and it, it, really, it really opened my eyes to the fact that this is something that you should know how to do and you should really take seriously and and you should learn how to do it because honestly you don't know if the person who packs your your reserve for you is doing the best job you know they could be tired or, or having a bad day and just make a mistake and miss something but they're running a business, so they're trying to get your stuff out. And this isn't me knocking any business out there. All I'm trying to get at is if you can develop the capabilities to learn to pack your own reserve, you will take pride in doing so, and you will be more confident that if the time comes, you're going to throw it, and it will be packed to the standards that you set for yourself based off how much you think your life is worth. So I just wanted to add that in there. That was super wordy.